Sid Charisse, a name synonymous with glamour and grace, was an accomplished actress and dancer who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born Tula Ellis Finclia on March 8, 1922, in Amarillo, Texas, she began her dance training at a young age and quickly became a prominent figure in the world of ballet. Charissa's natural talent and captivating stage presence caught the attention of Hollywood, leading her to sign a contract with MGM in the early 1940s. Over the next few decades, she would appear in numerous classic films, including Singin' in the Rain, The Bandwagon, and Silk Stockings. In these films, Cherie showcased her extraordinary dancing skills and became known for her elegant and expressive style. She was a true artist, using her body as a canvas to tell stories and evoke emotions. Charissa's contributions to the film industry extended beyond her on-screen performances. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for actresses. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career, she has remained a resilient and determined force in the industry. She continued to dance and perform well into her later years, inspiring generations of dancers and actresses. In conclusion, Saad Shiriz was a true icon and a testament to the power of perseverance and passion. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, and her contributions to the world of film and dance will always be cherished. Sid Shiriz was a renowned actress and dancer, known for her stunning performances in classic films like Singing in the Rain and The Bandwagon. Despite her fame, there may be some lesser-known facts about Shiriz that are fascinating. For instance, did you know that she was a trained ballerina before becoming a Hollywood star? Or that she appeared in over 100 films and television shows throughout her career? When did you first recognize Saad Shiriz? Was it her iconic dance number with Fred Astaire in the bandwagon? or perhaps her memorable performance in Silk Stockings. Whatever the case, Cherie's left an indelible mark on the world of film and dance. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will explore some funny, shocking, and even sad facts about Side Cherie's life and career. So, keep watching to learn more about this fascinating and accomplished actress and dancer Born Tula Ellis Finclia in 1922, Sid Charisse, as she would later be known, was destined for a life in dance. Her parents, Ernest and Mildred Finclia, enrolled her in ballet classes at the age of six, sparking a lifelong passion. Charisse's natural talent and dedication led her to the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, where she performed for several years before making the transition to Hollywood. During her time with the Ballet Russe, Charisse was heavily influenced by the great ballet dancers of the era. She learned from and performed alongside legends such as George Balanchine and Leonide Messine, who helped shape her technique and artistry. When Shiraz made the move to Hollywood, she found inspiration in the world of film. She was particularly influenced by Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly, with whom she would later dance in some of her most famous films. Astaire and Kelly's innovative choreography and charismatic performances inspired Cherise to push the boundaries of her own dancing and acting abilities. As Carissa's film career took off, she continued to be influenced by those around her. She worked with some of the most renowned directors, choreographers, and actors of the time, including Stanley Dunnan, Vincente Minnelli, and Bob Fawcett. These collaborations allowed Cherise to hone her craft and develop her own unique style, which would become synonymous with her name. In addition to her professional influences, Cherise's family also played a significant role in her development as an artist. Her husband, Tony Martin, was a singer and actor and the two often performed together. Charissa's children, Nico and Nikki, also followed in their parents' footsteps, with Nico becoming a dancer and Nikki pursuing a career in music. Throughout her life and career, Side Shiriz was influenced by a diverse range of people and experiences. From her early ballet training to her time in Hollywood, Shiriz was constantly learning and growing as an artist. Her many influences helped shape her unique style and contributed to her lasting legacy in the world of dance and film. Sid Charisse, a name synonymous with glamour and grace, was an accomplished dancer and actress who captivated audiences with her on-screen presence. Born Tula Ellis Finclia on March 8, 1922, in Amarillo, Texas, Carissa's journey to stardom began at a young age. Trained in classical ballet from the age of six, Charissa's natural talent and dedication led her to perform with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, where she met and married her first husband, Nico Carice. It was during this time that she adopted the stage name Side Charisse, a variation of her married name. 
Karis's transition to Hollywood came in the 1940s, where she appeared in numerous films as a dancer, often without credit. Her breakout role came in 1952 with Singing in the Rain, where she danced alongside Gene Kelly in the iconic Broadway melody sequence. Charissa's graceful movements and undeniable chemistry with Kelly solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Cherise appeared in over 50 films and worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time. Her unique style and undeniable talent transcended the traditional roles of a dancer and actress, making her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Charissa's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, as her films and performances remain classics in the world of cinema. Her impact on the industry and her fans is a testament to her enduring talent and grace, making her a true icon in the world of entertainment. As a child, Sid Charisse was always drawn to the arts. She trained in classical ballet from the age of six, and by 12, she had been accepted into the ballet Rust de Monte Carlo. It was there that she first discovered her passion for dance as a form of storytelling. However, it wasn't until she transitioned to film that side she truly found her calling. In her first major film role, she starred alongside Gene Kelly in Singing in the Rain. Despite having no previous experience in acting, she held her own against one of Hollywood's most accomplished dancers and actors. During the filming of Singing in the Rain, said Cherise had a pivotal experience that solidified her passion for acting and dancing in film. In one of the film's most iconic scenes, she performs a seductive dance with Kelly in a pair of black tights and a top hat. The dance was initially intended to be performed by another actress, but when she was unable to keep up with Kelly's demanding choreography, Side Shures was called in as a replacement. The dance number required immense skill and precision, but Side Shures was up for the challenge. She rehearsed tirelessly, perfecting every move and gesture. When it came time to film the scene, she captivated audiences with her grace and charisma. From that moment on, Sid Shiriz knew that she had found her true calling in film. Sid Shiriz went on to have a successful career in Hollywood, appearing in over 50 films and becoming one of the most celebrated dancers of her time. Her passion for dance and storytelling shone through in every performance, leaving a lasting impact on the world of film. In the 1953 film The Bandwagon, the actress said Shiri's wore a full-skirted white dress for the number Dancing in the Dark. Interestingly, this dress was inspired by one worn by the film's costume designer, Marianne Niver. The original dress cost around 25, but when they couldn't find an exact match, they had to create a new one from scratch, which brought the cost up to about 1,000. Before her fame in films, Said Shiri's had already started her showbiz career. In 1942, she starred in the Soundies production, Singing This Love of Mine. Sid Shearer shared the screen with Fred Astaire in The Bandwagon, marking their first of two film pairings, the second being Silk Stockings in 1957. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable and remains a classic example of the golden age of Hollywood dance performances. Born Tula Ellis Finclea, Sid Shiri struggled financially during her childhood in Texas. Her family had little money, making it hard for them to get by. Despite these tough times, young Tula discovered a love for dance. She trained tirelessly, determined to make it her career. As she entered the entertainment industry, the actress faced skepticism due to her ballet background. Producers often overlooked dancers for speaking roles, favoring actors with stage experience. Undeterred, Side Sharij and her acting skills through perseverance and dedication. During World War II, many male performers were drafted into military service, leaving behind vacancies filled by women like Sid Charisse. This break allowed her to prove herself as more than just a dancer, eventually landing significant parts alongside Hollywood legends. Throughout her illustrious career, spanning over five decades, Side Shiri's grace both stage and screen, solidifying her status as a true entertainer. From humble beginnings to becoming one of the most revered figures in golden age cinema, the story of this tenacious artist serves as inspiration for aspiring talents today. Sid Shears faced setbacks when she was replaced in two of MGM's major movie musicals. In Easter Parade, she injured her knee, and Ann Miller took over. Later, pregnancy forced her to give up the lead role in An American in Paris, which went to Leslie Caron. Despite these losses, Shears left her mark in Ziegfeld Follies, though some of her performances were cut from the final film. These included a musical number with Fred Astaire, a comedy number with Jimmy Durant, and a musical number with James Melton. She also appeared in a sketch with Fanny Bryce and a musical number with Avon Long. Juris's first speaking part in a film was in The Harvey Girls, directed by George Sidney. 
Her dance performances were often highlights of the films she appeared in, showcasing her skill and artistry. Sid Charisse, the accomplished actress and dancer, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout her career. In the late 1940s, she gained recognition for her role in the Harvey Girls, which showcased her exceptional dancing skills. MGM executive Arthur Freed was impressed and cast her in Singin' in the Rain alongside Gene Kelly and Debbie Reynolds. Charisse's performance in the Broadway melody sequence became a highlight of the film, elevating her status as a leading dancer in Hollywood. In the 1950s, Cheris continued to make an impact with her work in the bandwagon and silk stockings. Critics and collaborators praised her performances, highlighting her unique style and grace. Actor and dancer Fred Astaire, who partnered with Cherise in the bandwagon, once said, She's a wonderful artist, a lovely woman, and great to work with. Cherise's work transcended the world of film as she became an icon of classic Hollywood and an inspiration for future generations of dancers. Her impact can still be felt today, as her films continue to captivate audiences, and her contributions to the art of dance remain cherished. Sid Charisse, known for her work in movie musicals, had a unique background in ballet. In the Broadway ballet sequence of Singin' in the Rain, she even faced challenges with the long veil she wore. However, when it came to the documentary That's Entertainment, which aimed to highlight notable talents from nearly three decades of NGM films, Shiraz was among those who received less attention than deserved. Notably absent were also other stars like Vera Ellen, Marge Champion, Gower Champion, and Doris Day. Despite the exclusion of hits like Brigadoon and Easter Parade, the documentary focused on the period between 1929 and 1958, leaving out later gems like Bells Are Ringing and Billy Rose's Jumbo. While featuring Cherie's may have been difficult due to so many outstanding choices, the absence of memorable numbers like triplets, and you stepped out of a dream left viewers missing a piece of this classic Hollywood story. Would the inclusion of these performances have changed perceptions of the golden age of MGM? Sid Cherise, the accomplished actress and dancer, was known for her unique style and approach to her work. She brought a sense of grace and elegance to every role, often through her mastery of ballet and other dance forms. Charissa's personal experiences and worldview were deeply reflected in her work. Growing up during the Great Depression, she developed a strong work ethic and determination that served her well throughout her career. She also drew inspiration from her love of travel and her exposure to different cultures and artistic traditions. One of the things that made Charissa's style so unique was her ability to seamlessly blend different dance styles and techniques. She was equally at home in classical ballet, modern dance, and tap and she often incorporated elements of each into her performances. This versatility allowed her to bring a fresh and dynamic energy to every role she played. Despite her success, Shiri's remained humble and dedicated to her craft throughout her career. She was known for her rigorous training regimen and her commitment to perfecting her technique. Even long after she had become a household name, Charissa's impact on the world of film and dance is still felt today. Her legacy lives on in the many dancers, and performers who have been inspired by her work and in the classic films and shows that continue to captivate audiences around the world. After starting her career in dance with the ballet roots under the names Maria Estamina and Filia Sidorova, side shares became known for her work in films. One memorable role was in The Bandwagon, where she played Gabrielle Girard. Despite being an accomplished dancer, her singing in the film was dubbed by India Adams. Recently, in June 2021, the actress received recognition as the Turner Classic Movie Star of the Month. Clearly, even without excessive praise, it's easy to see how Sid Cherise left her mark on Hollywood. Her impact continues to resonate today. What else might we discover about this classic star? Sid Cherise, the actress known for her striking presence and unforgettable dance scenes, left a significant impact on the film industry. Her contributions extend beyond just her on-screen performances, as she also influenced trends and techniques behind the scenes. In terms of technique, Shariz was a trailblazer in the world of dance on film. She brought a level of grace and precision to her movements that had not been seen before. Her ability to seamlessly blend classical ballet with contemporary styles helped to elevate the art form and inspire future generations of dancers. Shariz's influence can also be seen in the types of stories being told in film. She starred in a number of classic musicals that showcase strong and independent female characters. These roles challenged traditional gender norms and helped to pave the way for more complex 
and nuanced portrayals of women in film. Industry experts and those inspired by Sharice have praised her impact on the industry. As one expert noted, Shiri's brought a level of elegance and sophistication to the screen that was truly unique. She was a trailblazer in every sense of the word, and her influence can still be felt today. A dancer who was inspired by Shiri's added, watching her on screen was like watching a work of art come to life. She moved with such grace and precision, and her performances were always so captivating. She was a true inspiration. In conclusion, said Charissa's contributions to the film industry were numerous and significant. Her innovative dance techniques and groundbreaking roles helped to shape the industry and inspire future generations of performers. Her impact and influence continue to resonate today, making her a true legend in the world of film. In 2006, the actress Sid Shiriz was honored with the American National Medal of the Arts by the National Endowment of the Arts in Washington, D.C., recognizing her significant contributions to dance. This prestigious award celebrated her lifelong dedication to perfecting her craft and entertaining audiences worldwide. Among her extensive filmography, Cherise had a soft spot for her role as Fiona Campbell in the 1954 musical Brigadoon. Collaborating with her frequent co-star Jean Kelly, she considered this production her favorite film project. Their on-screen chemistry and impressive dance sequences continue to captivate viewers, making Brigadoon a beloved classic. Two of Charissa's films, Singing in the Rain and The Bandwagon, have been carefully selected for preservation by the Library of Congress's National Film Registry. These films were chosen for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, further solidifying Charissa's impact on the film industry. Her memorable performances in these musicals continue to inspire future generations of dancers and film enthusiasts. Sid Charisse, the renowned actress and dancer, led a life that was as fascinating outside of the spotlight as it was within. She was a woman of great strength and grace who valued her family and privacy above all else. Charisse was married to singer Tony Martin for over 60 years, and the couple had one son together. Despite her busy career, Charisse always made time for her family and considered them her top priority. Cherise was also known for her love of animals and was actively involved in various animal welfare organizations throughout her life. She believed that all living creatures deserve love and compassion, and she worked tirelessly to promote animal rights and protection. In addition to her love of family and animals, Cherise was deeply passionate about the arts. She was a trained dancer and had a deep appreciation for music, theater, and film. Shears believed that the arts had the power to bring people together and to inspire positive change in the world. Shears's personal values and interests often informed her work as an actress and dancer. She was known for her elegant and graceful style, both on and off the screen, and she brought a sense of sophistication and class to every role she played. Shears's love of dance was evident in every performance, and she inspired countless young dancers to pursue their dreams. Despite her success, Shears remained humble and down to earth throughout her life. She was deeply grateful for the opportunities she had been given and was always willing to give back to her community. Cherise was involved in various charitable organizations and worked tirelessly to promote causes that were near and dear to her heart. One of Cherise's most notable philanthropic efforts was her work with the American Cancer Society. She was a passionate advocate for cancer research and worked tirelessly to raise awareness and funds for the organization. Cherise believed that everyone deserved access to quality health care, and she worked to ensure that all individuals had access to the resources they needed to live healthy, fulfilling lives. In addition to her work with the American Cancer Society, Cherise was also involved in various other charitable organizations. She believed that it was her duty to use her platform for good and to make a positive impact on the world. Cherise's philanthropic efforts were a testament to her deep commitment to making the world a better place and she will always be remembered for her generosity and kindness. In conclusion, Side Shiriz was a woman of great strength, grace, and compassion. She valued her family, loved animals, and was deeply passionate about the arts. Charissa's personal values and interests informed her work as an actress and dancer, and she inspired countless young performers to pursue their dreams. Charissa's philanthropic efforts were a testament to her deep commitment to making the world a better place and she will always be remembered for her generosity and kindness. In the 1966 film, The Silencers, the actress Sid Shiriz played the role of Sarita, but she was credited as a guest star. Despite being one of the greatest female dancers in movie musical history, Charissa's singing in films was usually dubbed by other performers. 
In this case, a young Vicky Carr provided the singing voice for Charissa's character. Interestingly, an incident from Charissa's previous film, Singing in the Rain, was referenced in MGM's next major musical, The Bandwagon, released a year later. In The Bandwagon, costume designer Marianne Nyberg was asked to add some flowers to the shoulder of the dress she had designed for Charisse. Nyberg, who was annoyed at having to change her design, sarcastically replied, and I'll add a little microphone in each one saying, I love you, I love you. This reference highlighted the microphone incident from Singing in the Rain, where Charisse's voice was not heard during a dance number because the microphone was turned off. Sid Charisse, the actress known for her striking presence, and Grace in Hollywood's golden age, left an enduring mark on the film industry. Her legacy is one of elegance and strength as she captivated audiences with her unique style and talent. Charissa's career spanned over four decades, during which she graced both the big screen and the stage. She starred in numerous classic films, including Singing in the Rain and The Bandwagon, showcasing her exceptional dancing skills and charisma. When asked about her advice for aspiring professionals, Charizant said, always be true to yourself and never stop learning. The industry is always evolving and you must be willing to adapt and grow with it. She emphasized the importance of perseverance and hard work, stating, success doesn't come overnight. It takes dedication, discipline, and a lot of hard work. But if you love what you do, it's all worth it. Cherise also believed in the power of collaboration and mentorship, stating, surround yourself with people who inspire you and challenge you to be better. And don't be afraid to ask for help or advice from those who have more experience than you. As for her future contributions, Cherise envisioned herself continuing to inspire and mentor the next generation of performers. She believed that her legacy was not just about the roles she played, but also about the impact she had on others. In her own words, I hope that my work has inspired others to pursue their dreams and to never give up, no matter how difficult the journey may be. That, to me, is the true measure of success. In the film The Bandwagon, Side Shears played the role of Gabrielle Girard, a dancer. Shears was taller than her dance partner, Fred Astaire, which posed a challenge in their dance numbers. To minimize the height difference, Shears wore medium heels and Astaire wore a hat. This clever solution allowed them to perform their iconic dance routine, the Girl Hunt Ballet, seamlessly. Later in her career, Cherise was cast as the other woman in Marilyn Monroe's last, an unfinished film, Something's Gotta Give. Although Cherise's role was small, it was significant in the context of the film's troubled production history. In a notable twist, Cherise was a practicing Methodist, but she was interred in a niche at Hillside Memorial Park, a well-known Jewish cemetery in Los Angeles. Her funeral was presided over by Dr. Gary Allen Dickey, pastor of the United Methodist Church of Westlake Village. This unexpected detail adds a layer of complexity to Cherise's personal life, which was not widely known during her career. Sid Cherise, a celebrated actress and dancer, began her journey in the entertainment industry as a child, taking ballet lessons and performing in local productions. In 1940, she made her Broadway debut in Stars in Your Eyes, followed by several other successful stage performances. However, it was her move to Hollywood and her work in films like Singing in the Rain, The Bandwagon, and Silk Stockings that solidified her status as a classic Hollywood icon. Cherie's brought grace, elegance, and unparalleled artistry to every role she played. Her unique style and innovative choreography transcended traditional dance boundaries, leaving audiences captivated and inspired. Despite facing challenges early in her career due to being typecast as a dancer rather than an actress, Cherie's persisted ultimately breaking free from those limitations and delivering powerful performances both on screen and stage. Throughout her illustrious career spanning over five decades, Side Shiri's left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. She demonstrated that dedication, hard work, and passion can lead one to greatness despite initial setbacks. This classic tale serves as a reminder of the transformative power of creativity and perseverance, inspiring future generations to step into the unknown and pursue their dreams wholeheartedly. Sid Charissa's unique stage name was derived from a childhood nickname, Sid, given to her by her brother, who couldn't pronounce sister. She later convinced her agent to keep the name with a modified spelling, as he feared Sid sounded too masculine. Born in Amarillo, Texas, during the Dust Bowl era, Charissa's father, Ernest, a Baptist jeweler with a passion for ballet, encouraged her to take up ballet lessons for health reasons. Her mother, Leela Norwood Finklia, also played a significant role in her upbringing, 
Karis's husband could often tell which dance partner she had been working with on an MGM set by the bruises she would come home with. If she had numerous bruises, it was likely she had been dancing with the demanding Gene Kelly, while Fred Astaire, known for his smooth and agile style, left fewer marks. Sources, Sid Charisse, Encyclopedia Britannica, March 12, 2021. ICTPs, www.britannica.com. Biography, Sid Charisse, Sid Charisse, IMDb. Access March 12, 2023. WTPS, www.imbb.com. Name, ML12057, Side Caris, Internet Off Broadway Database, Access March 12, 2023. HTTPS, www.com, Broadway Cast Staff, Side Charis, 11,048, Side Charis, 86, Danced in Many NGM Musicals, The New York Times, June 18, 2008, WWW Night Times, 2008, 618 Movies, 18 Caris, ML. In the film The Bandwagon, the actress Side Charis plays the role of Gabrielle Girard. During the number You and the Night and the Music, she and Fred Astaire are surrounded by bursts of flames, a joke by director Vincente Minnelli about his overproduced ballet in The Pirate. Unfortunately, three other Arthur Schwartz and Howard Dietz numbers were cut from the movie, including sweet music sung by Nanette Fabre and Oscar Levant. You have everything danced by Astaire and Caris, and got a brand new suit performed by Astaire and Fabre with Levant on piano. Moving on to Singing in the Rain, Gene Kelly choreographed his dance scenes with the actress to conceal their height difference. By staging the routine so that they were rarely upright when standing next to each other, Kelly managed to keep the difference from being noticeable. Instead, the two dancers were often bent toward or away from each other during the routine. In the 1940s and 1950s, the actress said Shears graced the screen alongside Fred Astaire in three films Ziegfeld Follies, The Bandwagon, and Silk Stockings. Charissa's stunning performance as a ballerina in Ziegfeld Follies caught the eye of Louis B. Mayer, who was impressed with her striking resemblance to Iva Gardner. As a result, Charisse, who was then using the name Lily Norwood, was offered a seven-year contract with MGM. Prior to this, Charisse had already appeared in Thousands Cheer at Metro, but it was her performance in Ziegfeld Follies that truly solidified her place in Hollywood. Charisse's talent and beauty were undeniable, and her partnership with Astaire in these three films produced some of the most memorable dance sequences in movie history. Tragically, Carissa's personal life was marred by loss. Her daughter-in-law, Sheila Charisse, was killed in the crash of American Airlines Flight 191 on May 25, 1979, shortly after takeoff from Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. Despite this heartbreaking event, Sid Charisse's legacy as a dancer and actress continues to endure. Her contributions to the world of classic Hollywood are still celebrated today, and her unforgettable performances alongside Astaire continue to captivate audiences around the globe. Sid Charisse, a renowned actress and dancer, is known for her exceptional talent in movie musicals. Despite her beautiful dancing, her singing in films was usually dubbed by other artists. For instance, in Brigadoon, Carol Richards lent her voice, while a young Vicky Carr did the same in The Silencers. In Silk Stockings, Fred Astaire praised Charisse, saying, Side Charisse, lovely Sid Charisse how she dances. How she dances. Gene Kelly echoed this sentiment when introducing their duet in Singin' in the Rain. Charisse's performance in the Broadway ballet sequence of Singin' in the Rain was significant. Originally, Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor were to feature, but O'Connor had to leave due to a prior commitment. Shiri stepped in, even though she had gained weight during pregnancy and was new to dancing in heels. She had to adjust her ballet style to match Kelly's jazz background. This classic scene remains memorable, showcasing Carissa's adaptability and grace. Sid Charisse, a world-renowned prima ballerina, made a memorable appearance in Janet Jackson's All Right Music video in 1990. She was not only a dancer, but also a mother to two sons, Nicholas Schurz and Tony Martin Jr. in the 1954 film Brigadoon. Schurz portrayed Fiona Campbell, one of her most famous roles. Despite her exceptional dancing skills, she relied on dubbing for her singing parts, with Carol Richards providing the vocals in this particular film. This practice was common, as Charissa's strengths lay in her extraordinary ability to captivate audiences with her dance moves rather than her voice. Charissa's career in Hollywood showcased her talent and versatility as a dancer, making her an iconic figure in the world of classic film. Her impact on the movie musical genre transcended her time, inspiring future generations of performers and film enthusiasts alike.
Sid Charisse, known for her iconic role as Fiona Campbell in Brigadoon, reportedly had a strained relationship with co-star Gene Kelly. In contrast, she expressed a preference for working with the more affable Fred Astaire. Charisse's stunning legs were once insured for $5 million, highlighting the importance of her physicality in her performances. Initially, her dark, exotic looks typecast her in ethnic roles. She played Ricardo Montalban's fiancé in Fiesta, and a Polynesian in On an Island with You, showcasing her versatility. However, her talent soon transcended these limitations, making her a beloved figure in the world of classic Hollywood. The actress's career is a testament to her enduring appeal, and the mark she left on the industry. Despite the challenges she faced, Carissa's impact resonates to this day. Her legacy is not just about her performances, but also about the trail she blazed for other actors and actresses who face similar challenges. It's a story of perseverance, talent, and the ability to captivate audiences, even in the face of adversity. It's a story worth remembering and celebrating. In the movie East Side, West Side, Side Shears played the role of Rosa Senta. Interestingly, MGM often paired her with Iva Gardner due to their striking resemblance. When it came to dancing alongside leading men in Hollywood musicals, only a select group of actresses shared the stage with both Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. Sid Cherise was one of them, joining the ranks of Judy Garland, Rita Hayworth, Vera Ellen, Debbie Reynolds, and Leslie Caron. Unfortunately, during the filming of Damn Yankees, Gwen Verdon's memorable performance of Whatever Lola Wants, Lola Gets was replaced with a lesser-known routine called The Red Blues from Silk Stockings featuring Side Charis. Initially, this change seemed acceptable since another Bob Foss sequence from Sweet Charity followed shortly after. However, hindsight has revealed that removing Verdon's captivating number was indeed regrettable, considering it was a faithful recreation of a renowned Broadway showstopper and featured the original choreography by Foss himself, executed flawlessly by Verdon herself. In the film Singing in the Rain, a memorable scene from the Broadway ballet sequence, titled The Crazy Veil, had to be halted for several hours. The reason being Side Charissa's pubic hair was visible through her costume. Once the issue was resolved, the costume designer, Walter Plunkett, reportedly announced, it's okay, guys, we finally got Sid's crotch licked. The actress shared the screen with Gene Kelly in eight films, including Thousands Cheer in 1943, Ziegfeld Follies, and Words, and Music in 1945 and 1948, respectively, Singing in the Rain and Brigadoon in 1952 and 1954, Deep in My Heart, Tanned at Stern. Always Fair Weather in 1955, and That's Entertainment, 3 in 1994. Side Cherise had familial ties to the acting world. She was the aunt, by marriage, of actress Nana Visitor, Ian Tucker, and Zan Charisse. Additionally, she was the mother-in-law of Liv Lindeland. These connections further illustrate the reach and influence of her career and family in the entertainment industry. In the movie Singing in the Rain, Side Shears played a dancer and had to learn how to smoke a cigarette for the Broadway ballet sequence. Afterward, she chose not to smoke again. Later in her career, she was honored with induction into the Texas Film Hall of Fame in Austin. Her passion for dance began when she was young and often ill. At her father's urging, she started taking dance lessons to improve her health. Despite having polio, she excelled in dancing and found her calling. Through dedication and hard work, Side Shuri's built her strength and became a renowned dancer before transitioning to acting. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring performers today. The actress's journey serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and determination in overcoming obstacles to achieve one's dreams. As we reflect on her life and contributions, let us appreciate the talent and grace that Saad Shiriz brought to the world of entertainment. As a true icon of Hollywood's golden age, Saad Shiriz graced the screen with her incredible talent and unforgettable presence. With a career spanning over four decades, this actress left an indelible mark on the world of film and dance. Her work in classics like Singing in the Rain and the bandwagon continues to captivate audiences, showcasing her extraordinary grace and versatility. Reflecting on her legacy, one cannot help but be in awe of the countless hours of dedication and hard work she put into her craft. Charissa's impact on the entertainment industry transcended the boundaries of film and dance, inspiring generations of performers to step into the spotlight. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on Side Charissa's work and legacy in the comments below. What are your favorite memories of this classic actress? How has her artistry influenced your own creative pursuits? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, 
Let's keep the legacy of Sid Shurizen, other legendary artists alive for generations to